Welcome back to the channel everybody. This should be part 21 of the X231 prototype Minneapolis Moline 445 tractor restoration series and with the machine done on X231's rear end now I have it disconnected from the transmission and have it placed upright on this cart right here. Finally we can see the 10X4178 casting number on this. Um, this video is going to be about uh, the last of the repairs that I need to do on this case here. Um, if you remember from the earlier videos, this was quite broken back in here. It was all caused by this little over center clutch dog that had come loose, rattled itself around, and ended up getting caught right underneath the bull gear, and then boom, popped all that out. I'll blip over to the before pictures again if you don't remember what they looked like. And again, this whole patch was done by the same people that repaired this broken out bearing bore up here that I just finished the machining process on. And again, I'm well satisfied with how all this turned out. Uh, much, much better repair than I could have attempted on my own. You can see they even drilled and tapped these two 5 8 by 11 draw bar bracket holes. Um, we do have some more work that needs to be done on the rest of them though. The whole draw bar bracket on this side was allowed to run loose for a long, long time. And again, I'll blip back to some before pictures of all the nasty weld that they had put on all this stuff trying to hold it together. So I'm not going to rely on weld to hold the drawbar on this protractor anymore. So I'm going to have to uh, do some helicoil thread insert repairs to this 5 8 by 11 hole so I can make this side match the non-damaged side. And then there's also these two 3 quarter by 10 draw bar bracket holes on the side. See if I can get the light in there for you. Kind of hard to see on the video, but there's not a lot for good threads left in there. They are getting uh, pretty, pretty shallow. So we'll uh, proceed with the threaded hole repairs on these three. And once I get those done, we also have a poor one on the uh, back side of the axle here. And the corresponding hole on the other side has suffered some damage too. So five bores we need to repair. And guys, one last thing before I get busy. As I stated earlier, I'm going to use these helicoil style kits to uh, repair all these holes. That's what this is. And the reason I'm going to use the helicoil style is because it's the most minimally invasive style insert that I can put in. Now the perfectionist in me would love to use a nice heavy duty beefy insert like this with the stakes that can be driven in to positively lock it in place. Uh, the issue I have with that is how much material is going to have to be removed in order to fit that in there. And I just don't have the kind of material, especially on the inside of the casting, where you can see the bumps are for those, uh, those holes. I just don't have enough material there to uh, take out without risking uh, causing some oil leaks or actually going right through the wall of the casting altogether. So the nice heavy duty inserts are not gonna be used, but in this case, the way this tractor is only ever going to parade from here on out, it's never going to be pulling a plow or heavy load again. The regular Healy coils, the light duty ones, are going to be the way to go. So that's the plan. So let's start with this 5 8 one here first. Checking for square. That's the most important factor right now. Got my two uh, dummy bolts in here for comparison. And so far, everything's looking really good. Now to cut the threads for the insert. There, bottomed out. That's as far in as that's going to go. Here's the first insert going in. This is a rather uh, deep bore, so I may end up doubling these up. Now the first insert's in. 
get the tang knocked off of it. And uh, I'm going to put a second one in up on top of it, just double it up. Uh, I've got about five good uh, coils I can use yet of this one, so it'll be about half of this. So get a little bit of uh, thread locker on this one too, finish out that bore. There we go. Now I'll get rid of the exposed coils here with a Dremel. This last little piece out of here. There we go. That one's done. Okay guys, after I finished the 5 8 by 11 hole right here, I went out and did the other two 5 8 by 11 holes that needed help in these axle housings. So, this one right here too. So I got all that done. I didn't figure you wanted to watch me go through that process again on those. So now it's time to move on to the 3 quarters. Okay, I finally got the holes drilled and tapped, so now I can get the inserts put in. There we go. Good on that one. And insert number two. Alright, now that all five of the holes have been repaired and I have good threads and everything, it's time to test fit the old drawbar bracket that used to be uh, welded to the side of the case here. I got some bolts laid out to do it. We'll see how all this stuff lines up. Start these bolts on the bottom. This top one here is the one that I repaired. That one starts well. And from looking at it, I believe these other two uh, holes that were already drilled and tapped from the repair should line up well too, which they do. No problem even starting them. Just checking the fit of everything now. The bracket lines up well with the case. Bolts are nice and square with both components. And it all fits. Pretty happy with how it turned out. Well guys, here we are at the end of another video already. But uh, I'm gonna do my best to keep rolling right along on this project. And I hope to see you back again soon. Like, subscribe, leave comments down below. As always, thanks for watching.